What's going on YouTube? Today I want to make a comparison of Virtual Desktop and Immerse. These are two apps that most people use for productivity on the MetaQuest 3. And for some reason, I haven't really seen any comparison. So today I want to make a comparison of the two apps for you. If you're someone like me who does a lot of productivity and would like to use the MetaQuest 3 occasionally, um, these are the two apps that you primarily want to use. There is also Remote Desktop by Meta, which I've made a video of. Or you can, um, you know, go on YouTube and you know search that. But if you're looking for the best, then it's gonna be immersed or virtual desktop. So today I'm gonna show you guys the difference between the two, as far as productivity goes, and which one might be better for you. All right, the first thing I'm gonna start with is immersed. The good thing about immersed is it is free to start, so you can just go ahead and start the app. Obviously, you wanna download the companion app on your PC and set that one up as well. All right, so right now I have my PC connected. As you guys can see, I have the app over here. This is my computer screen right here. Now, one of the things I like about Immerse is the control. If I wanna control the app menu, I can just go here, tap, and I can go to uh, my computer and change some settings. I can also use wired connection. So this is a very good, so if you have a Wi-Fi or internet connection issues, Immersed allows you to use wired mode, which is good for lag. And over here, you have your rooms. This is my environment. This is the environment that I choose to be in because I just, I like this space, but I don't like the fact that it feels like I'm up in the hair, but it looks good. So this is why I chose this environment. Now, the thing about Immersed is your environments, you kind of have to pay for it. So, I mean, you have some free environments but most of the one most of the good ones are locked so for example home office is locked uh all this is they're all right but i don't want to use these i want something that actually looks really really good so for example this one right here if i want to use it well it's a 750 credits what is 750 credits it means that i have to buy that so look at that so if I want 750 credits, I would have to at least buy this $9 one and I don't want to do that. So that's the disappointing part about this. So a lot of things that I would like to use are just basically you got to buy. But besides that, though, if you go here on public, you can also use other people's lounges and stuff like that. But like I just said, it's most of them. Uh, I don't even think they're free but you can buy the pro version which will give you you know uh all the environments for free but then you'll be on subscription which is like six dollars a month you don't quote me on that but i believe that's what it is based on the emails that i got from them and then over here you can do you can uh do your monitor arrangements which i'm going to show you so over here you have your keyboard and you have your portals so portals is you can create like a window if you so let's say i want to create one right here right this is a one that i created in the past but basically it allows you to uh create something that allows you to look at into your outside world so for example i can see my computer i can see my environment but let me close this and if i want to see my keyboard i just have to click on this right here and now I have a pass through with a pass through I can see my PC's uh, keyboard and I can still see my virtual environment so let me close this as you guys can see I have my PC keyboard right here that way if I want to do something I can easily do it I have the uh, virtual windows and then if I want to add more uh, windows all i have to do is for, for one let me move it here if i want to add more windows all i have to do is click on this right here and extend another display confirm and it should come up in a second so the thing is immerse can be buggy sometimes so for example right now i'm trying to add another display it keeps saying i keep doing the confirmation but another display is not adding up which sometimes i would have to close it and open it back up but once again it is completely free so you have to be patient if you have a situation where something is not working you just simply uh, close it and open it back up
with immersed now that i was able to get all the desktop as you guys can see i can place my windows however i want so i have my primary windows over here and i have my side windows here and i can also have my top window which i can move here and place it whatever i like so this is really nice now obviously i can make this much bigger than it looks right now but sometimes i actually prefer this i can easily zoom in and out of this display as you guys can see i'm making it bigger or i can make it uh, smaller with my hands but this is good right here for me and now i can easily look at these other displays without having to turn my head around i can curve this display even more so this is so yeah that's a good level of curve and now let me move it back a bit yeah so i really actually do like immersed as well it's just that when it comes to environment and stability it seems like um virtual desktop has them beat a little bit but i really like how i can look at my hands and have all this control though like it's really cool and once again the pass through does really work very very well although i don't typically use pass through but if you want to use pass through that is an option so if you're tired of being in this nebula space and you want to be in your actual physical environment you can do mixed reality which is uh this right here you turn it on and now you can see your actual office which this is my actual office so i can still work um uh in my virtual environment now one thing with this is you have to be careful when using your hands because this screen can move but you can go into settings let me turn off mixed reality you can go into settings and change the uh input that way your hands are not const constantly adjusting um the displays once again with immersed you have the wired mode and you also have wi-fi direct so if you don't have internet connection and you still want to connect you can also use wi-fi direct but the downside is you're not going to be able to access the internet but that's fine because if you're doing things like editing videos working on documents you might not necessarily need the internet so you can just use this right here and with dim screen this allows you to dim your pc screen that way you can save on power that way if your battery is running low or it is just dis uh, disconnected from the outlet you can use this to save um energy you have your quick access apps you know things that you want to see uh, you can change your sitting position so for example if i click right here i can move my sit to uh let me move it to right here so now i've changed my sitting position in this virtual display all right so now we're gonna open virtual desktop which is this right here and this is honestly my preferred method it is so advanced jam-packed with a lot of feature the downside with this is that you do not have a wired connection method now it also recommends that you connect via its internet cable but as you guys can see it does perfectly work it does perfectly work fine i mean it does work fine perfectly with just wi-fi and when you are connected on wi-fi i notice that the latency is much lower on wi-fi than it is on immersed but immerse does give you the benefit to use wired cable now with virtual desktop a lot of people actually tend to use it for games but it is very very capable when in turn in terms of productivity so first thing is the controls right is down here i really do not like the fact that this control is down here i wish there was a way i can move this upwards or something it's so confusing to me i don't know why it's like that but anyways um so i have all my settings right here as you guys can see you can watch uh side by side movies which are which are 3d movies and stuff like that you do have 
your uh, PC's screen right here. Now let's do pass through. With virtual desktop, if you go to your settings, you can do the pass through hands, which will show your hands. And that way, if you want to type on something like that, you can easily see your keyboard. Like it's the hand tracking is incredible. But the one thing to know is that whenever you're doing pass through for either immersed or virtual desktop, you need proper lighting. That way you can see your computer. So just like you were able to do portal on immerse, you can use this right here to make portal on virtual desktop as well. Or you can just leave it on pass through. Or maybe if you want to be able to see where your coffee is, you can make a portal. That way you can see where your uh, coffee and stuff is. And then settings, there's a plethora of settings that you can do with virtual desktop. And this is why a lot of people use this for gaming because there's just so much customization. There is so much you can do. I mean, man, the settings go on and on and on. And then one of the things I also love is the videos that are actually on my computer really shows down here. So I can use my hand, my fingers to scroll and I can literally uh, click on any of my, for example, these are client videos for my real estate. I can just select any one of them and watch it straight from this right here. And if I want to go back to my uh, PC or env environments, so this is the current environment that I'm in right now. If I want to change my environment, so let's choose, uh, let me go to, uh, this one actually looks very similar to my actual office. So modern apartment, uh, let me see. Yeah, so this is this modern apartment right here. As you guys can see, it looks like a real environment. Like if I stand up, I can see cars moving. That's crazy, right? I can see cars, more traffic on the road and I can sit back down and look at my uh, computer and just pretty much work like I would typically work. And if I want to change my sitting, sitting position, I just do this right here and I can switch seats. And now I'm over here that the, my computer is on the screen and that is off and I can still see everything. But I'm going to change the seat back back to this seat right here. And for your monitors, right? So let's say and this is also another screen right here, which is a game room. This is just pretty nice, man. This is really, really nice. This right here is actually the same thing I have on my actual office so this is just a really, really nice setup. It feels very, very realistic. It just feels like, especially the screen, it feels really, really real. Let me select another screen. I can, I can do this right here. This is another virtual desktop. I mean, this is also another virtual windows you can use. I don't like setups like this, but if you want to watch movies, as you guys can see, this will make a great place to watch a movie. But when it comes to like uh, computer productivity, I like to sit on desk or something. Let me see which one will I pick. You can even pick a computer room, which is crazy, right? Or yeah, let me just use this one for now. And let me close this. And I'm going to do add a monitor and I'm going to add a monitor. Okay. So with this one, if you wanted to add monitor, right, you can see it's now floating. And with this, I can either move it up or down. So let me show you guys right here so I can adjust the height up or down. I'm going to put it right here and click and then I can also make the size smaller or bigger, but smaller. And then I can also bring the uh, change the distance, uh, move it closer to me or not. Whichever one you want to. What I realized, though, is the controls work better when you are using the actual controller. You can use your hand, but. It just works better. You can even change it to portrait mode. So if I click on this right here, now I have a portrait mode display that I can move, make it bigger. I mean, this is just ridiculous.
or I can move it back to uh, change the change the orientation back to landscape. And if you want to add another display, just click on add, and soon enough another display will come on. Now this obviously looks a bit of a mess, but what you can do is you can do something reset view. For one, this will reset the view. You can also go into settings and actually make it easier. But as you guys can see, I can have multiple display even in an office computer room like this. And you can also adjust, you know, all the settings and things like that. You know, something that suits your needs, you know, depending on how you like it. And you can also adjust the curve. So for example, this one is a bit flat, right? Well, I can make it more curved depending on how I want it. So now that's a good curve, right? This is, a, yeah, this is a good curve. And if I want to make this smaller at the same time, I can also make it smaller just like this. So hopefully you guys are getting the gist of this. And let's change environment again. Now the thing is when you change environment, your your view is gonna reset a little bit, but all you have to do is simply uh, click on reset view and you can move it to wherever you want. So right here will be fine. Right here will be fine for that one. And then for this one, you simply know that too much because if you put it right here, it's gonna be cut off on the side. So put it right here and that is fine. So now I have a three, uh monitor setup so i can have my middle screen i can have my left screen and i can have my right screen and one of the things that i love about this is you can use this to control the mouse on your screen or you can just use simply the mouse on your pc um, and move things around as you guys can see even the background changes as i look over or move things around a virtual desktop is not free it's like $24 or something like that. And at first I was using just Immerse because I didn't want to pay for it. But when I realized that you have to pretty much pay for almost any usable or any environment that looks good and immersed, that money quickly adds up. Whereas with virtual desktop, once you pay for it, pretty much everything else is covered. I don't want to say everything else is free, but everything else is covered. So you are getting a whole lot more, in my opinion, with virtual desktop, even though it's $24. And it just works so, so well. I don't really have any issues with this. Every now and then I have issues with uh, Immersed where I'm trying to add monitors and it will not come up. But with this one, I've never had issues where I try to add monitors and it does not come off come up and you just have a lot more uh virtual environment to pick from i just really really love the options for the virtual desktop as you guys can see you have so many that you can choose from you can literally just make it a black void if you don't want anything or you can do pass through as you guys can see pass through once again is very similar to my office now once again if you want to pin uh virtual windows you would want to have adequate lighting because lighting is everything when it comes to uh, three dove six dove and things like that but let me put it back into something that looks good for me so office game room this looks good to me and this also uses less resources less power you know especially when your battery is running low but anyway guys if you have any questions for me Please put it down in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah.